Oh, and I have coffee. Hello, welcome to the vlog. Mummy's just there. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Luke. Here I am. <laughs> right, Luca, excuse me, can I sit down there? She's like, no. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm sleeping here. I'm sorry, Luke, but you're really going to have to. Come on. Come here. There she goes. Yeah. If I threaten to sit on her, she'll go. Oh. Hey, Dunas. So, Eileen is sitting here with towel of shame and a bowl of shame. And she's really not feeling 100%. Yeah, because of her reflux. Yeah, well, Caitlin and I think she's got a bit of a upset tummy because mm -hmm. there's more than just that way. Uh, and we don't need to be more graphic than that. But Caitlin's been and gone and Eileen now has to sit up with us because I need to cook. Uh, and my plan is to make a big bowl of, no bowl, not bowl, a big pot. I've been doing this all day. I've been saying a big bowl of bolognese. I mean, it's very, um, it's very alliterative. A big bowl of bolognese is more alliterative. Well, it is. A big pot of bolognese isn't alliterative. Uh, and did I just go off on a tangent? Well done, me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yes, thanks, Eileen. Tip your waitresses. I'm here all night. Um, yes. Oh, also, I'm eating the Swedish cookies. Yes. Delicious. I, I promised Alice to bake. So we've just baked it. Did, 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 did. Uh, and these are these are a uh, Swedish biscuit. It's called Havreflan in yeah. my language. Yeah. Uh, and they are an oat biscuit that becomes very thin and it almost looks like almost looks like a little lace dolly they're meant to be round but we made them too big and they all floated together and we have to cut them apart um, of course you can um, but they become this part crunchy part chewy really toffee caramelly oat biscuit that, oh god that's so good it's like one of my favorite things ever and, and it feels very vegetable oily on the bottom. They feel very oily. There's a lot of butter in them. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and they're yeah. super easy to make, so they're very good to bake with kids. They add, we actually accidentally added a bit too much butter. Three grams too much, darling. That really is... We did 78 grams of butter instead of 75 grams of butter. I think we can survive this. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Uh, and I'm now having a uh, coffee. I don't usually have coffee in the afternoon. I know I always talk about my coffee, but actually I don't. I, I only really have two mugs of coffee a day and I have them in the morning. But today is calling for some reinforcement. Hello. Do you want coffee? No? I was sitting there. Yeah, Alice was sitting there. And no, we haven't made any biscuits for you. Yeah, because we can't make cat biscuits. Mm. So yes, I'm just going to sit down and have some coffee and some biscuits and kind of gather strength. I'm going to have my juice and biscuit. And then I'm going to start making bolognese. And I'm making an enormous pot of bolognese. With my, and I'm gonna do it with mommy. Mm. Did mommy leave us? Kid party. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kid party. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kid party. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kid party. Oh yeah. Oh, don't. Oh dear. Don't can don't get away. What me and Ellen did while you were getting, while you were looking for some peptisorb. Peptisorb, yeah. Okay, you did don't, something. Don't, don't get it away from this clock. Okay. Mm. And Eileen is sitting in her new seat. It's the same base. It's the same headrest. But it's a brand new seat and new foot plates on her wheelchair. So she now has split foot plates, which is a must because her legs are different lengths. 
um, it's um, much better lateral supports here for her and uh, I think a better uh, belt strap uh, lap belt belt strap lap belt uh, well her old seat really wasn't any good for her anymore it wasn't giving her any postural support and it couldn't be adjusted anymore it was too old it hadn't gone as big as it could do but it had sort of everything had rusted shut so you couldn't make any changes to it and I've gone on a lot of walks in that in that wheelchair, so there was a lot of stuff in that mm -hmm. wheelchair. <laughs> Were you with them at wheelchair services? Yeah, I was. So when they were about finished, I saw all of that dirt on the floor. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Our house is missing them there. Wheelchair some room in the sea. <laughs> Yeah. Did you make a mess? Was that your last act as a Slytherin? This is the one thing that I'm really sad about is that her old seat was called Nimbus and I thought it was so cool that my child was flying a Nimbus and she's totally house Slytherin. And she no longer flies a Nimbus. They've taken your broomstick away from you. The reason why I just got a drink is because I tried raw courgette and that was gross. <laughs> Courgette is very nice in bolognese when it's cooked, but not raw. So oh. I have got chopped onions, grated carrot, grated courgette. I helped her with. The I've got beef, carrot. beef and pork mince. Yep. I have canned tomatoes. Uh, I've got some barbecue sauce. I usually put uh, ketchup in, but I haven't got any ketchup. So I've got barbecue sauce and tomato puree. I've got beef stock and a little selection of seasoning here and this is what I use to make bolognese I will also put some cream in it at the end because uh, well calories but if you want a lower calorie version leave the cream out and actually the courgette makes it look uh, look make it makes it taste really creamy that's why I like having courgette in and also I'm sneaking a lot of vegetables into my kids meals without them noticing all right so I'm going to brown the mince with some salt and I mean this is a lot of food so it takes a lot of seasoning yeah like we said we're going to do a huge bucket of bolognese bucket is it a bucket now it was a bowl before now it's a bucket love no, it no you said bucket did I you you meant bucket but you said you kept saying bowl I meant pot and I kept saying bowl oh right do you want the seeds there no okay so that's going to brown and that will take a few minutes and I am here. I'm gonna go and entertain my oldest in the meantime. Oh. Right, <coughs> I have fried the mince and I added the onion and that's been frying for a bit. And now the carrot and courgette is going in. So what should we do? Pour in some tomato and add some seasoning. And then we're gonna leave it alone for a long while. No, you don't need that. To open it? Because it has uh, that thing to open it with. Yeah, but I was like, with the... Uh, oh, you want a knife to just... Uh, I was like, to get the green thing that you... Get, get the tab up? Yeah. There you are. And it is a very full pot already. Let me Those tomatoes smell really good. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna pop a couple of stock cubes in there. Can I? Can I? Yes you can. Just two? Yes. Okay. And tomato puree. Ooh. Dark colour in that picture. That's fine. The beef stock cubes, so they will be darker. Darker than the ones you usually, you've seen as well, because chicken stock and vegetable stock are lighter. Yeah, that one's 
Should I plop it in? Yes, please. Plop. Plop. And. Kind of smells like bread. <laughs> okay, take your word for it. Thank you. Now, should I start mixing? No. The pot is too full now. I want to be the one mixing it so we don't end up with bolognese everywhere. Okay. Thank you. Right. We. So a load of barbecue sauce and I'm going to put in some seasoning. I'm having smoked paprika and hot paprika but I'm not going to use a lot of the hot paprika because then Alice won't eat it. Because yeah. she doesn't like very spicy food. Uh, don't really like the food. But I do like a spicy crisp. Mm. It's too yummy. You know it's spicy, it's just too yummy. What the sweet chicken, sweet Thai chicken. Yeah. Thai sweet chicken, something. Even though it's spicy, when I, when I eat um, a bit more than a bit more of the crisps, it get spicy in my mouth, but I don't care. It's just too yummy. Too yummy. Too yummy. I ah. Okay. And then this is just going to be left to cook. Those things need to go in the bin, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Okay, it is 20 minutes to four. This is going to need to simmer away here for uh, an hour, roughly. That doesn't see me. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going to need to simmer away for about an hour to become really nice. So the longer you simmer it, the better. Uh, and hopefully we can survive that long with the smell because, oh, it smells divine. <laughs> it gives me all my teeth, gross. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. You're stuck. Hang on. Where am I stuck? You're stuck on the button on my... Oh. Ah. <laughs> Come here and let me love you. <laughs> Yeah, pass it off. Leave me alone. <laughs> yes, I've just added some cream and I'm just pouring macaroni in my, oh, drat, mine and Alice's bowls because then I'm going to put the rest of the macaroni back yeah, into maybe. boiling water for eel. Is that enough for you? Maybe just a tiny bit. Yeah, uh, back into boiling water for Eileen because hers needs to boil for longer before I can blend it. Yeah, it makes it easier to blend. Well, the thing with pasta is that pasta continues to absorb water. So the blend, if you blend pasta, it will continue to suck up the water in the blend and the blend will just get very thick. So if you overcook it, so that is kind of reached almost its uh, limit of how much liquid it can absorb then that is no longer a problem and this has been cooking for an hour and a half all the vegetables have cooked down and become just really puree and part of the sauce and it's such a nice way of making it i've added a bit more seasoning um also added a spoonful of sugar to just round out the flavor yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Ellen is having other food because obviously hers is oh, um, got one. yeah hers is not ready yet, but uh, hopefully she'll enjoy it when she gets it tomorrow. She's very happy at the moment. Shall I move the camera back into where she is? There she is. Ellen, you happy girl? Yeah. Hi. Mwah. Yeah, I think, oh, hello. I think her stomach has settled a bit. She's feeling quite a lot better. Okay. And we've had some snuggles. What? Oh, you've seen a little... She has spotted, I really aimed this camera wrong. She has spotted a little cartoon with uh, Wednesday and Enid. So I might have to help her yeah, get to that LOLs. one. Yeah, LOL. LOL Wednesday and Enid. Yeah, but, but they're pregnant. They're pregnant? Yeah, they are. <laughs> the, the dancers are pregnant. 
The dolls are pregnant. I have no idea what's going on here. I am, however, going to say uh, goodbye with my wonderful ring light reflection in my glasses, which is annoying. Thank you. Can't be seen. Go back and eat. Okay. Right. I'm going to crouch down. This is so uncomfortable. Don't try this at home, people. Okay. Well, Alice, just. <sighs> I've reached the end. I have done so much today and I'm way beyond capacity now. And I actually did pretty well there because really what I was about to do was just turn around and scream in anger. But I didn't. So I'm going to sit down and eat and decompress. Completely forgot about this part. Here's the aliens that I've blended up. So this is a Vitamix blender, which is strong enough to just blend whatever I put into it, smooth enough to go through aliens tube. So, oh. Huge, huge difference is made for me having that one. I did some fundraising to be able to get in. Right, I've got five bags. I might need more, but let's just fill these up quickly. And yeah, I eyeball this. I've been doing it for so long now that I just have a feeling for how much I need for each. Actually, I'm only going to use three bags and I'm going to put the fourth serving straight into a Tupperware container because she's going to eat it tomorrow for dinner. I've put the girls down in Eileen's room. Alice is watching Nightmare Before Christmas. Eileen is listening to Nightmare Before Christmas and I'm just sorting this out quickly. These are going to go outside and cool down. As is this actually, which is the leftovers. And I'll be freezing bags of just bolognese for me and Alice to have ready for dinner for lazy days. But I'll sort that out tomorrow because I do need to get back to the girls now. So this is the actual end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you again in the next vlog. Bye.